Welcome to the Open Ed 360 Twitch channel. Alrighty then, uh, it's Debbie Brady with Open Ed 360 coming at you at uh, 5.50, well, 53 now, p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 20th of November, 2018. Hello to anybody that's uh, re recently subscribed or joined me for my channel. It's been a while since I've been online for a good reason for um, those who are newer to Twitch or have no idea um, how to be a streamer, then um, this is a bit of a little rant going on. Um, first, thanks to all those who helped me get over the top to becoming an affiliate. It took me almost exactly three months from the day that I signed up for Twitch. Um, of course, I didn't right away decide to be a streamer, but anyway... Let me see if I can get a camera going. Um, this has been a little bit strange. So right now I am showing all systems green. Um, not skipping any. That's good. Drop frame rate is still well below 10%. So let me quickly jump over here to the scene. No theme. to there we are I'm not dressed up or made up in any way shape or form so um, I just have behind me a picture of the HVO um, Hawaiian Volcano Observatory uh, webcam page this one is for Leilani I think yeah Leilani um, from the west side of Pu'u Kalali, Kaliu, Kaliliu. I am not a linguist when it comes to Hawaiian, although I have um, become interested. So anyway, um, I am now a Twitch affiliate as of two days ago. I did upload some emotes and they were just this afternoon approved. So for anybody that... Um, does subscribe to my channel there are three levels of emotes that you can use based on your subscribership level starting at five dollars a month i'm um, going up to 24.99 a month so if that's something that you feel like you do that would be fantastic always love to see some subscribers now that i can get those um, i am going to link uh, some of my merch that I've started creating through OBS Streamlabs. Um, so, um, what else do I want to say about that? Um, yeah, so um, as part of the uh, affiliates uh, process, which is in itself quite interesting, that's a whole story in itself that I'll share it some other time. Short version is that when I first started streaming, I was doing uh, weather forecasts at times that were convenient to me, and I had very few followers, which is pretty usual when you get started because um, you got to start streaming before you can get followers. <laughs> so um, it's interesting. I'm looking at my uh, dashboard here on Streamlabs OBS, and it shows me um, who has started following and Felix Reacts, um, who I. I'm connected with through uh, Relaxed Beats, which is one of my newest addictions. I certainly want to find a way of having a 24-7 um, background stream going on, so um, my followers have some place to hang out, and I really 
really like the RPG action there. Um, so I want to learn a little bit more about that. But um, it seems that um, when you become an affiliate, you yourself are subscribed at the third level, which means I should be able to use all of the emotes. So I'll see how that works out. Um, let me go over here to chat and see what I have. Oh, yeah. So this is called Angel Baby. And that's the first level. This one I've called Sun God. That's the second level. And this is a, you, know, you might recognize those two. I did get them from a free um, download site that I myself have been using called uh, mind, mind Blurp at the moment. I can't remember the name of it anyway. I'll come back. It'll come to me sooner or later. And um, so that's the third level. And those two, the first two I got from the free site, trimmed them a little bit, made them a little bit more enhanced to fit into the parameters that um, Twitch has. And these are really tiny, tiny. So it's important to get pretty clear images to start with before you start downsizing them. The third one, the Affinity Sun, it was a symbol that I've modified many times over the years. Um, but uh, this is a current variation on it. And you can't really see um, the original design had seven rays coming out from the sun, which is really hard to get a clear um, picture of. So I switched over to the more standard eight rays, um, which is very geometric. And I was able to do that in Photoshop pretty easily and import those. So if you look at at the um, little parts of my little symbols before my name, you'll see first the like a video signal that indicates that I am the one that is streaming. That is my name on this channel. Stay curious. I can um, also known as my own name, Debbie Brady. And um, after that is the first level of subscriber. Um, a loyalty badge. So that's the middle one. And the final one is because I am a prime Twitch subscriber. Right now I am subscribed to a channel called Dutch Sense Official. That's how I even came over to this channel from um, originally YouTube. And that's a story in itself. And goes back to me using this volcano site um, through um, USGS's, um, like I said, Hawaiian v um, Volcano Observatory. And that's the one that has had um, volcanic a action um, going on, obviously. Well, maybe not obvious to those people that don't know anything about the evolution of Hawaii, but Hawaii... Um, is a chain of islands. Sorry, I'm moving around here <laughs> quite a bit. I notice my little tiny pictures of I'm a little, little bit off, a little bit off. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, Hawaii is a chain of volcanic um, islands. Um, they form almost all islands are volcanic, almost all of them. But certainly the ones in the Pacific Oceans are, um, as far as I know, at least... 99% volcanic. Um, Hawaiian Islands is a um, chain of islands that is still being formed by the volcanic action. So as um, magma comes up from below the um, planet's surface and it is ejected onto the surface and cools and hardens and eventually starts breaking down and gets um, dust and dirt on top of it and plants start growing and then you've got land land that continues to expand and expand and expand and that is just a change to the newest picture so something that i'm doing see one of the things that um the, they used to do with doing live streams 
from um, the observatories, and they had at least one or two cameras that were going all all the time. Instead, um, I have started doing this, which I'm capturing the various um, images that they see, see fit to share. Let's go back down here and see that. So, um, I time date stamped them so I know when they were from. This one is from a few minutes ago, but it was obviously just updated. So, some pretty views of a nice clear blue sky in the background. So, I'm going to take a quick look and see who is on here. It looks like mostly bots. But um, showing one viewer, I don't know who that one viewer is besides myself, Commander Root, positively bot and local cool, slow cool, slow cool. So if you're watching, listen to me. Hello, greetings. Um, glad you could join us. Otherwise, I'm probably pretty much talking to myself like I used to do all the time. So I'm pretty used to that, luckily. <laughs> Coming from a background in uh, college radio, you always feel like you're talking to yourself anyway because you never know who is listening. Um, these are stored as videos. I do not delete my old videos, um, although I've been on long enough to at this point that I have not. Um, I have. I, I think they've started to delete the oldest ones. Something I found out kind of. Um, if, if you do connect, if you are um, an Amazon Prime subscriber, then you get one free channel to subscribe to here on Twitch, and you get a number of different things um, for that as well. One of which is if you are a streamer, then um, unless uh, the normal non-affiliate uh, streamer only gets 30 days of storage for their streams, if you're uh, Prime, uh, Amazon Prime subscriber, then you get um, the 60 days, which is the same as being an affiliate. I think you get longer for being a partner, but um, that's a long ways away. So one of the things that you have to do to be an affiliate is to have an average of three viewers per hour streamed uh, over a 30-day period. So those days that I was still like the first month and a half of streaming, I was still just mostly doing random streams of 20 to 30 minutes with weather forecasts. And I started doing that when I was um, interested in following the um, tornado hurricanes that were prevalent back in September. Um, we had a couple of them over here on the East Coast. And so I was as a weather enthusiast, I was following those and also sharing some of the um, pictures from Hawaii. And I did capture those separately. In fact, um, I am so glad that I did end up capturing some of those from um, when they were still live streaming. And I've used those as backgrounds too. So um, while I'm here, might as well go and do a quick weather forecast and uh, then I will wrap this up. I'm coming up to 15 minutes here streaming. I want to stretch that out to about 20 minutes. So let's go over to next labs. I do still have that as um, one of my presets. So yeah, these are all um, saved. So I probably need to Resave that as a dirty because that just gives me a little bit more of the um, clouds. That's the, the, the dirty part, I guess. <laughs> the only thing I can figure out. Otherwise, they look pretty close to the same thing. They are both um, from the. Sorry if I look to the side here. Though I've got a side-facing um, secondary monitor where my screen is capturing. So. Uh, you can see that in the north, extreme northwest, uh, they are getting some rain coming in Northern California, badly needed. Um, the only downside of that is um, the burnt areas tend to be denuded of um, vegetation. And um, that means that possible um, avalanches could happen. 
uh, if you have a lot of rain coming down all at the same time. Um, so they need the rain. So nobody wants to complain about that. On the East Coast here, it was a pretty nice day, uh, much warmer yesterday. It was, uh, I think, it got up to 60 degrees here in late November, which is pretty amazing. Uh, the average, I think, is in the high 40s, low 50s. It was about 10 degrees warmer than normal. Um, it's more normal temperatures here today, I believe. Let me do a quick check on my phone and see what it says. It's now 6 o'clock on the East Coast. And it is 49 degrees, so that's pretty dead on average temperature, but it is supposed to drop um, tomorrow night, Wednesday going into Thursday. Um, the system that is um, coming down from um, Alaska, or, I mean um, Canada, is heading down to bring a cold wave. Let's go ahead and advance these images. This is going pretty fast. It covers about... Um, Think about a 10 hour period. I thought initially I thought it was three hours. Let's see. Started out as 5, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20 21, 22, 23. So that is eight hours. Um, so one of the things that you can get do with this is to <clears throat> click and hold on the um, the number of frames and that can advance it or um, make it go backwards, which is pretty neat to do. So it does look like um, Florida is getting some rain down here. Um, Texas is, looks like it's getting a little bit more rain. They've had a lot of rain this fall. I guess they're not complaining about it too much. Uh, Arizona seems like it's getting quite a bit of rain that's now advancing into New Mexico here. Again, the Northwest, including um, most of the Western parts of um, Washington State and Oregon, as well as Northern California are getting rain right now. And probably that will um, come down through um, the rest of California over the next day or two, which they badly need, as I said. So what I wanted to show you up here is how this system is um, dropping down from the north, bringing um, really cold temperatures and some ice and snow to the uh, northeastern states. And um, we may actually get some, they say, on um, Thanksgiving. So my original thought was I might go to see my mom, who is about seven, eight hours away on a good day, but um, driving up there and driving back just to be spend Thanksgiving there um, when it's icy and snowy through the main parts that I'm going to be driving through um, Pennsylvania. I'm up, I'm in the Washington D.C. area, driving up through um, Pennsylvania and, and to. Um, toward Rochester where my mom lives. It looks like they are getting um, ice or snow right now, and I'm sure it's cold enough up there to be getting that. So um, I think that's enough. Um, I'm just now going into 20 minutes. I haven't seen any new um, viewers join me. So again, if you have managed to join me or you're listening to this l later, um, just realized that I have not, you are not probably hearing me. Hopefully you did. Let's see. Yeah, hopefully you did. So I'll go back and check. But uh, it could be one of those things <laughs> that would be uh, very funny. Um, I had to restart it. So that my, my end rant is that um, as part of the affiliate process, I had to do the two-factor because I didn't do the two-factor to start two-factor um, authentication, which is probably a good idea for those of you that know how to do computer security. Just logging in using a password is uh, okay, but it can always be um, stolen. But if you did two-factor, then what they do is they send you a special code. Um, so every time that you log in again, they send you a new code by your cell phone. And so the person that's um, theoretically stealing your information would have to both have um, your password and have the ability to reroute your cell, their cell phone number to their own phones 
Um, so it's not likely. Uh, nothing is a hundred percent. They are there are such things as a three factor, but um, two factor is becoming more and more common. And you can do that also on Facebook, which I haven't done. <laughs> um, probably should do that. I've been on Facebook now for about twelve. I want to say twelve plus years at this point, maybe even going into 13 years uh, from the fairly early days of Facebook, um, I think only LinkedIn and Twitter. I think I first joined LinkedIn of the the major um, social media outlets, and then I joined Twitter, and after Twitter, I think I signed up for Facebook um, in that order. And so um, all this other stuff is kind of, um, second nature, just about learning new tools. So anyway, after doing the two-factor, um, use um, a separate um, application, which is called Streamlabs OBS. And because of the, the logins, um, they're synced with your um, for streaming purposes. So the interface that I use to stream, which... There is more than one OBS, so I should be more clear. And, but Streamlabs OBS, or some people <laughs> shorten it to SOBS, S-O-B-S. Interesting. I uh, just found that out today, uh, looking around, because it's not perfectly ob- obvious how to um, log out, log in to these two tools. I did figure out how to grab my new um, primary stream key off of... Uh, Twitch and put it in here, but it still didn't want to go. And I looked around, looked around, and um, yeah, I, it's not just you have to log in and out of Streamlabs, but you also have to log out and into Twitch, which I've redid, and then everything seems to be working now. So thank you for watching. Again, this is Debbie Brady with Open Air. Ed 360, and it is now 6.15 p.m. on the East Coast on the 20th of October 2018, and I might be on later. I uh, haven't done a Dutch Sense watch party in a while, and it's always fun. Sometimes some of the people from there follow me back to my room, and we have a nice, nice little chat. and got a lot to talk, catch up on for those people that I haven't seen in a while, because I, well... Again, I don't want to get into another rant, but <laughs> short version is I stopped streaming for a while to let the um, my numbers from my larger streams catch up with the streams that weren't being watched um, live. And so that did it. And now I'm up there. And so the next um, goal will be to make partner. And that requires 75 average viewers. So that will be a while, I think. Um, I don't even have 75 followers at this point. So having 75 viewers is next to unlikely since, you know, maybe half of these followers are not the kind of people that... um, will often join me on a random basis. I've gotten up to 10, I think, at some point. Um, so I'm um, my next goal is to get 20 people on. Uh, 25, actually, is the next um, one of the markers on Twitch. 25, viewer, um, 25 chatters at one time. That would be cool. So stay tuned for that. And, again, thank you for joining me. And I will go ahead and switch over to because I don't have an exit from the other standard theme that does not show my face. It's a live stream and then I can do a stream ending soon so you should see that. The reason I do this um, is well, there's quite a few reasons. More professional, obviously, but um, there is a delay. So if you just go from live talking to turning off the stream, um, then it ends up cutting you off, and that's not cool. Anyway, so I go backwards, and I will go ahead and end my stream. And um, thank you again for joining me. And if you do subscribe, you will have emotes to use. So do that for me. I appreciate it. Share and um, encourage others to follow me. That would be perfect. Thank you very much. Have a great evening.